So you might be trying to figure out how you can increase the speed of your Android update on your Android phone. Now, doing this is actually very basic and it really doesn't take too much time at all. So the first thing you have to understand is that within your Android update, if you're talking about the actual download of an update, there's things you can do. But if you're talking about the installation process of an update, there's really nothing you can do. You're pretty much just going to have to wait it out until they basically until the update's basically installed. So the first thing I recommend doing if you're worried about bad, like basically downloading the update is to get as close as you can to that Wi-Fi router. So what this means is basically you will have your Android phone like this. You want your signal, you know, your bars to be as high as possible. So if you're extremely far away from your Wi-Fi router, that is going to be the biggest problem you're going to run into. So what you're going to want to do is you want to hop inside of your settings application and you want to connect either to the 5G version of your Wi-Fi or connect to a higher quality version of your Wi-Fi. This in and of itself is probably going to be one of the most important things you can do. Because personally for me, whenever I run into these types of issues where my download speeds are just very slow, it's usually because I'm very far away from my Wi-Fi router. So just go ahead, connect to that Wi-Fi router, and that is, pro you know, can get closer to that Wi-Fi. And that can probably end up fixing the problem for a vast majority of people. Now, if you do that and that's still not working, another thing I recommend doing is usually just restarting your phone. Sometimes these updates can just be a little weird. And if you restart your phone and retry, that can probably end up fixing the problem too. So what you're going to want to do is just hold down the buttons that you normally would to restart your phone. I don't know why it's always making it weird. You can go ahead and click restart, restart your device, and that's going to be another thing you can try doing. Now, if that's still not working, chances are the update is just so large that you're just going to have to pretty much just wait it out anyway. So what you're going to have to do is just install the update, you know, download it. It's going to take a minute for it to install anyway, so just give it some time, and that can probably end up fixing it if you just kind of let it download and install. And that can probably be the main thing I'd recommend doing here too. So. That pretty much covers it up there. If you have any other thoughts or questions, let me know in the comment section below. Hit the like button, not me so much, but definitely hit that subscribe button. More importantly, everything else, I love every single one of you guys. Hopefully, I'll catch you guys in the next video.